What's going on everybody, it's Aaron Cates. Welcome back to the channel. I'm filming on my phone right now because it is 2.30 in the morning. My camera's inside, my girlfriend is inside asleep and I don't wanna go there and wake her up. But we just got the truck out of the garage about an hour ago. It took forever to wet sand, compound and polish the other side. Finally got it out. Um, it is Wednesday morning. We are leaving for Daytona and it's almost 3 a.m. right now. We're leaving at eight tonight. Uh, God, I can't do math right now. Whatever, however many hours that is. It's like 15 hours or something like that. I'm terrible at math. And I've been up since 7 a.m. and it's 3 a.m. right now. Uh, but we are about to paint our Suspension parts, we've got our sway bar, we've got our rear shocks, and then right here is the piece to the front of our bumper. Now, I had wanted to color match my mirrors, but unfortunately, since of how I painted the truck, I did the clear and the color combined and then went straight to clear. What that did is change the color of the truck just a little bit, so if I were to use what little paint I saved to paint the mirrors, they would not match, and then basically touching the truck, you would be able to tell, so I'm just not even gonna bother painting them. I'm gonna leave them black and chrome. But all of these, we're gonna be painting the suspension color that like seafoam type teal. Uh, but I figured I'd give you guys a little behind the scenes to the Daytona Crunch, uh, leaving, I think it's like 15 hours. Let's see, if we add five, to three that would go to eight and then 12 okay 17 hours there we go but i'm gonna get these painted just figure i'd give you guys a little behind the scenes uh after i get these painted i'm going inside and i'm showering i'm gonna sleep for like three hours and then come out and get everything together do you guys want to know how my life works so i was like i'm gonna crack the garage door so i came over here i popped the hinge to crack the door that way you know the paint to ventilate shocks fell shock landed on my air hose please tell me how a shock breaks a freaking air hose so now i i can't even paint literally cannot even paint now so first thing in the morning i have to go buy a freaking air hose i'm trying not to cuss because i don't want to cuss in videos anymore but damn that pisses me off it's 2 30 in the morning i mean i could try and tape it but 125 pounds of air is gonna, gonna blow that tape and it, it put a, a big hole and it. it was draining my tank fast oh okay so obviously i have this on uh I got the paint done to work. I took the grip that used to be right here and I slid it down. I put a piece of a, a plastic bag over the hole. I super glued all the way around it. And then I put this over top of it and super glued the ends around it. And voila, we have paint. It is now 4 a.m. I've been up for 21 hours now. 20, 21, somewhere in there. Um, I'm not gonna sleep today. Then I get this finished. Um, and then I'll probably start the grill. Uh, Cause by then, by the time this is done, it should be almost 5 a.m. My girlfriend should be awake by then. So I can make a little bit more noise. Uh, go ahead and get it started. Um, once the grill's finished, we're in the home stretch. Then it's going to be putting everything on the truck. The longest thing that's going to take with the grill is going to be cutting out the center section. And then you just, it's, I think, three bolts to mount the insert. So the longest part of that is going to be cutting the center out. But we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Daytona Crunch in full effect. What's up, guys? It is now 9.30 in the morning. I have yet to go to sleep. I've been up for 26 hours now, but as you can tell, the truck is outside. These are painted. And we have our new tin dust 
customs grill on so this was a little complicated um it didn't come with instructions so if you guys are interested i have a code it's aaron tates i think it saves you it's either 10 or 15 percent off but it saves you some money so you cut the center section of your grill out you cut all the little tabs all the way around and then there's these brackets that go in it to hold these two pieces together because after you cut this piece out these are no longer connected so this goes in and it makes it a little bit difficult because the grill itself doesn't want to fit in this is also an aftermarket grill so it probably isn't oem fitment and this is probably based off an oem grill but i put it in i put a they come with these little uh pieces of metal that it's like a backing plate almost i put the corners put it up there and then i've got one right here in the center on the bottom and what that is is pulled the bottom in pulled the corners in and this is sticking out and this is sticking out so it's even on both sides this is tucked in this is tucked in this is tucked in so i'll give you guys a better look at it i think it looks sick now i did f up i was out here trying to get it on and it popped out and we have our first chip in the bumper that's super depressing but this is solid metal and it did fall on it very hard it scratched the living crap out of the grill but i mean nothing you can do about it i'm sure we're gonna get rock chips and stuff like that so nothing we can do but hey truck is looking good i've got this on so now i'm gonna put my headlights back in put our pods back in get our front plate right here put in um then do our tail lights our bumper in the back uh paint the frame and then i think we're just about done i've got this double-sided tape right here to hold in these plastic pieces i would like glue them in but i would like to paint them in the future i did not have time so they're staying black um i do have a little bit of paint i could spray them they would match the grill um but I'm, I'm not painting anything else today. I'm very tired. I said I yawned. Oh. But if I can get all this done before 3 o'clock, I get to take a nap. If it's after 3 o'clock, I'm just going to stay awake. And I have to drive three hours south tonight. So come 7 o'clock tonight, I will have been up for 36 hours. So... Not looking forward to this. All right, real quick, let's get a look at this paint. First time I've seen it in the sunlight. Now there are some dull spots and whatever this hazing is right here, I don't know what's causing it. I cannot seem to get it to go away. I'm gonna try washing the truck today and maybe that'll fix the problem. Maybe it's a bunch of compound left over. Uh, not sure, because it, I mean, it's, it's all over and when I, polish it goes away and then just slowly comes back so hopefully with a good wash okay it'll all go away do good do great and they talk bad on you no need no face because they're not factual no, no, no. i won't stay too long here i'm just passing through i might hit the bank and get a bag or two my mama asked me why you got that cash room second you switch up they might get mad at you no you're not my friend so no i'm taxing you you are like my sons i'm going dad on you Good job, good job. Get my no problem. Hit my line, you're irking me. I hit that. So let's look at a little bit of the aftermath. Yeah. This is pretty rough. So I really kind of just quit filming. I don't even know what the last thing I filmed was. I think it was somewhere around like four in the morning. Uh, but I quit filming around there and I went until 3 a.m. The next morning i was up for 43 hours and this is kind of our aftermath there's just absolute shit everywhere that i have to clean up um it was absolutely crazy uh we've got fender liners we've got the rollers we've got a welder a pressure washer we've got microfibers wrenches paint thinner old wrap 
We've got old wheel lights, a sub, a creeper, impact, spacers. We've got just everything everywhere because I was trying to get the truck finished. So the truck was supposed to be like hopefully done by like noon and I was gonna come inside and I was gonna go to sleep. Um, well, that did not end up happening. So my girlfriend got home around 8.30. I was still working on the truck. Um, I was very close to being done. I ended up finishing the truck at like 10.45. I came inside, I showered, um, changed clothes, got everything packed. We left at like 11.30. Uh, maybe it was probably closer to midnight. We left around 11.30 to midnight and drove down to Florida. We got down to Florida about 2.30 in the morning, um, got everything like what we needed out of the truck. We stayed at one of my sister's houses, um, which if you're watching this, thank you for letting us stay there uh, all the times we come down. Um, but then we went to bed at 3 a.m., Woke up at 7 a.m. and went to my buddy Brandon's house to get the Ford just completely ready. So it was on the rollers. I had three inch spacers I needed to put on and the 42s. I had a sticker for the back window on the Chevy that had to be still completely weeded out and release tape on and then it put on and then the release tape, we had the wrong release tape and it messed the sticker up and we had to go to Joanne's get more vinyl, more release tape. Had to download the software on my computer to use my buddy's wife's cricket and cut the vinyl, get it all put on the truck. We're supposed to leave for Daytona around like 10 30, 11. We ended up leaving for Daytona at like 1 30. But now I should probably show you guys the final look of the Chevy because it, it honestly, it came out pretty freaking good. There's still a little haze in some spots on the paint, and I I don't know why. Um, like the whole driver's side's perfect. There's not a, like a single thing wrong on the driver's side, but the passenger side has a haze to it. So if we look, we've got our piece on the bumper. We got our lights in, got our grill in. I showed you a lot of that. Everything underneath. Um, I did not get to get these color matched. Um, I'm half tempted to try and order some like chrome vinyl and do it that way because I feel like the chrome vinyl would look really good right there. But got everything all together. Got our wheels on, got our new spikes on, our mirrors. Like as you guys can tell, the driver's side is like flawless. There's there's not a single thing on the driver's side. It's perfect. Tailgate, pretty much perfect. Now this is the, the side Oh, of course, it's super dirty right now, so that doesn't help. But there's like a weird haze in some spots. Like there's a weird haze right here, right here. Um, more right here. Another one right here. There's just all these different hazes. Like it looks insane on camera, but when, when the truck is semi-clean, you can kind of tell depending on the lighting. And I don't know why that is, that it has this weird haze on it. Uh, but every, a lot of the stuff I've read online says to wax the truck after you compound and polish it, because there's gonna be like little micro scratches left over from the polishing that the wax will fill in and give it that more glossy look. Well, this being a new paint job, I can't wax it for two months. Um, we're already into about three and a half weeks uh, close to a month of this paint job. So I'm gonna give it another month and then I'm gonna go around and wax it. And hopefully that cleans it up quite a bit, but it absolutely came out sick. This video kind of was like all over the place. Really all of my videos have been all over the place. I think I, you guys will see, but I did a really terrible job filming in Daytona. And I think that had to do with how exhausted I was. Um, I didn't get any proper sleep even like in Daytona I didn't sleep all that much um and I think that really affected how how I did YouTube because I, I did a really terrible job at it um just because I think I was exhausted but figured I would close this video out show you guys the finished bit of the truck the the insane Daytona crunch that we had came to an end very fast god these bugs are just
bugs are attacking me. Um, but we got the truck done. I was awake for 43 hours and then slept for four hours, woke back up, and then I was awake until 2 a.m. that night helping Denver Mile High Duramax put the stickers and everything on his truck just to wake up again at 7.30 in the morning. And I, I really did that like the whole weekend. So I don't think I got more than like five, six hours of sleep the entire weekend. Um, came home, took yesterday as a complete rest day. Now today I'm finishing up all my videos. I don't have any outros filmed like I'm doing now. Um, really, I only have one video for Daytona and it's a mix of like all three days because I did such a terrible job filming. I didn't get to film the people's trucks I wanted to film. I wanted to do a couple different videos in Daytona. I wanted to link up with Denver, do a complete video on his truck, a video with It's Ham, just do all these different videos that didn't happen. But, you know, we've got more, more chances in the future. So this is the finished product of the truck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the insane Daytona crunch. I'll catch you in the next video. See you.